What's up everybody, we're gonna go over how to make an affiliate store with WooCommerce, uh, WordPress, and Commission Junction. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over what I have set up right now. I'm hosting on uh, webhost.com and uh, uh, it's a free web hosting company. I'll leave the link below. And I have a domain beaniehub.com and I have three domains uh, or three beanie set up right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add new product. So add new product. And to do this, you do have to have a Commission Junction account and you have to be, um, you have to apply to whatever affiliate program is, that's associated with Commission Junction and you have to be accepted. Some of them are quicker than others, but you do have to go through that process. So let's go ahead and add this beanie. And so first is first things first, you got to go look at the actual beanie or the look at the product and copy the title. So title copied description, very short description. Um, I'm gonna, you can put the description in here. I'm gonna, yeah, you know, I'm gonna put it in both. So I'm gonna put the description there and I'm gonna put the description also in the uh, post product short description area. And so it's gonna, on default, it's gonna have simple product. You wanna click on external af affiliate product. And then it, all you have to do is set up a product URL and set up a SKU and all that, uh, the price, all that type of stuff. So this one's 18 bucks and the SKU is right here. Copy. So it's pretty much you just copy paste it exactly from the product uh, link. And you just link it directly to the actual product on their website and you get a commission if they do end up buying okay so I'll, let me show you where to get the link so for this specific one I'm gonna encrypt the code or encrypt the link high tracking code and this doesn't work but I check it anyways set up link in new browser window and uh, that you have to set up on your specific site you have to optimize that on your site it, it'll actually still uh, load up the screen in the same window or in the same tab so let's go click URL copy Bye now and we're good oh uh, course you got to add the image so you can copy it from right here but I'm gonna just go ahead and go to image URL new tab save the fresh one okay so set product image and if you do want to add set uh, multiple Images, I would recommend using the gallery. So instead of, let me show you. So this is just product image, product image. But if you want to set up multiple images, just go ahead and go to gallery and add product images gallery or uh, product gallery images. And then uh, you do have to set up a product image as well. So it can show up on the front page of the, as a thumbnail. Okay, so this one is Brixton. So I'm gonna add Brixton, Brixton as a category, and I I believe it's male, and that's it. Publish. Okay, now let's go ahead and view view the product. So as you can see. There's a description up here and a description down here as well. And uh, reviews are automatically set up by default. And related products are also set up by default. 
And so, I mean, if I made the look, if, if all I have to do is pretty much make the site look better, uh, maybe add a nice logo, change some colors around, uh, fix this button to look better, and maybe actually put some stuff in the blog. And there you go, you have a an affiliate site set up, uh, affiliate product site set up. And there are other affiliate programs you can uh, go through or you can use. Uh, Commission Junction does pretty much the, the job for the most part. Nonetheless, if you do uh, some research, I'm sure you could find some other uh, good product affiliate programs. And so I'm going to end the video there. If you have any questions, leave them below. I gotta remove this uh, junk. Uh, be sure to leave a like. I'll leave a description or I'll leave a link in the description to uh, the web host that I use and I'll leave a paid hosting link as well. So if you want to set up uh, some actual, if you wanna set up multiple domains with uh, unlimited uh, bandwidth limit and you know all that type of stuff I'll leave a link below for probably one with GoDaddy and pretty that's it uh, if you have any questions leave them below thanks for watching and have a good day